Hello, in this video we are going to take a look at a book on abstract algebra. This is a book that came from a library, Carleton College it says. Let's open it up. You can see here it was checked out in the 70s. It's like a piece of history. Really cool. Abstract algebra. There's like a stamp there. You could feel it with your hands. Really nice. W. E. Deskins, professor of mathematics, Michigan State University. I'm sorry, I just have to give it a whiff. It's just the smell is emanating. Ah, oh, smells amazing. Smells so good. And here's the copyright. Wow, 1964. W. E. Deskins. Fourth printing, 1967. And here are the contents. Common language. The basic number systems. Decompositions of integers. Diophantine problems. Another look at congruences. And then finally he gets into groups. So it takes a while for this book to get to groups. Okay, so... Um, just keep that in mind. Uh, there are other books that just jump into group theory right away. Um, so it moves pretty quickly. Then he goes into rings, domains, and fields. So it's organized in an interesting way. Um, polynomial rings, quadratic domains, and then modular, modular systems, modules and vector spaces. So it does have a lot of linear transformations and matrices, Elementary theory of matrices. So it has a lot of content. It even has the Jordan form. Let's let's take a look at that. 602. Um, Jordan form is something that you sometimes learn in linear algebra. I remember um, trying to learn that. Uh, I don't know if I have any Jordan form videos. I probably should make some. It's always a tricky subject. Jordan form. Yeah. Cool. Good stuff. And I, I don't see an example of them finding the Jordan form. That's the thing. Oftentimes you don't see examples. Uh, here we go. Find the uh, Jordan canonical form B and R4 of A. Okay. So they go through the process there. They come up um, with, with an answer. So yeah. So this is a book you could use, I guess, for self-study. Uh, is it the best book? Um, well, I would say it's a comprehensive book. It's got a lot of content, as you can, as you saw in the contents. I mean, it's got modules, it's got vector spaces, linear transformations, rings, groups. It's got a bunch of other stuff, as you saw. So it does have a lot of content, um, and it's very different from a lot of the other abstract algebra books that I do have. So a lot of my other abstract algebra books don't have necessarily this particular content. Gotta give it one more whiff. Ah, smells amazing. But yeah, I, I don't know if this book is available, uh, like if it's, uh, you know, like if you can buy it, but if you can, I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out. Um, yeah. Oh, if you wanna learn math, I do have an abstract algebra course on my website, uh, mathsorcerer.com or freemathkids.com. It's actually on Udemy, but check it out because I lowered the prices and it helps me if you use my links on my website, mathsorcerer.com. And yeah, I have a course on, on this stuff here. I hope it's been helpful. Keep doing mathematics.